We're just heading down towards Black Fen today. Some friends took some footage while they were out there of a large Lyme Regis landslide that happened today. So I'll just go down and have a look. At the start of the beach, I'll look along from the new sea wall and see what's happening. It sounds pretty uh, ominous. All that material falling down from the back of Black Ven. So I've parked up at Charmouth Road Car Park and just go down and see what's happening on the seafront. I'll stay on the new sea wall and have a look along. Charmouth Road Car Park is quite near to the East Beach for getting along when you're allowed to go fossil collecting. Sounds like the beach has been closed off now because of this large Lyme Regis landslide. So we'll go down towards the beach and see what we can see. So here's a really useful warning sign for people to beware of the unstable cliffs. They're liable to fall suddenly without warning. And we're heading along through to the east towards Black Ven. There's Golden Cap in the distance. And down there you can see on the new sea wall quite a few men in green. Well, I'm just heading out towards this really large new landslide that's happened today. They closed the beach off for a while. It seems to be settling out a bit more, but uh, always be aware of the dangerous cliffs that are liable to fall suddenly without warning. I'm going to see a couple of the fossil hunting fraternity at the base of the mudslide, seeing what the sea's washed out. You never know, the sea's been up and washed it already. You can see the cordon they put on there, but that'll be washed away tomorrow. Looks like at Mike Harrison's fossils there. This is your roving reporter. Your roving <laughs> reporter. <laughs> That is, this thing? That's a lot of uh, material, isn't it? All come down. Was it today then? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So what's Brandon's opinion on this? Let's have a look. What a, a massed amount of lias material there. You can tape on the edge, but you can't go over the line. You're not allowed over that line. Always best to stay away from those dangerous cliffs there. What have you got there? An ammonite there. Oh yeah, the back right. of the ammonite protruding out. It goes right round. Oh yeah. Well that's some boulder there that's arrived on the beach from the landslide. Look at that. large amount of material down on the beach here having washed down such a large amount of material having slipped down onto the shoreline now the sea's doing the work for you, washing material out onto the beach. Already the sea's churning a few bits and pieces out. And uh, part of the old Victorian bolt dumps coming down onto the shoreline along these parts. There's a bottle just up ahead. The sea's washed that one out of the mudslide already today. I always like collecting some of the glass, there's a bit of the blue glass. There's a nice back 
I only found today as the tide is at its lowest point. You see people right underneath the cliffs during the summer months where they certainly shouldn't be. And as I keep repeating, the cliffs are liable to fall suddenly and without warning. The best fossils are washed out by the sea. The sea washes them out of the mudslides and you can look on the beach for them at low tide along the Jurassic coast. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.